types of the catalysts based on the physical state of the catalyst and the reactant these catalysts are classified into two types that is homogeneous and heterogeneous based on the which property phases physical state of substrate that means uh, in this case reactant and uh, catalyst this catalyst may be gas or solid or liquid like this based on this physical state this catalysts are classified into two categories that is homogeneous and heterogeneous one is homogeneous and another one is heterogeneous the name only indicates that here catalyst and reactant both are in the same phase suppose if the catalyst is present in solid phase the reactant also present in solid phase then it is called homogeneous catalysis or if the catalyst is present in liquid state here reactant also present in liquid state that is called homogeneous catalyst like as a gases also but in this case both catalyst and reactant are present in different states that is here if it is present in the solid state it may present in either liquid or gas if it is present in liquid state it may present in solid or gas if it is present in gas state it may present in solid or liquid so these type of uh, reactions are called heterogeneous reactions or heterogeneous catalysis now coming to the brief introduction of the homogeneous catalysis we already discussed that based on the physical state of the reactant and catalyst so in this case both are present in the same state that is here same reactant gas phase and catalyst also gas phase liquid liquid solid solid so in this case we can easily find out that it is a homogeneous catalyst that means if you mix them to each other you can't separate it or you can't see whether it is catalyst or reactant that means we can't see by your eyes so the both are in the same phase gas gas liquid liquid or solid solid so that's why it is called homogeneous catalyst that means catalytic reactions in which reactants and catalysts are present in same phase are called homogeneous catalysis the catalytic reactions in which the reactants and catalyst are in the same phase is called homogeneous catalyst or catalysis now take a simple examples here carbon monoxide plus oxygen forms carbon dioxide two moles of carbon monoxide with one mole of oxygen forms the two moles of the carbon dioxide but in this case catalyst is nitrogen oxide which is also present as a gases we can easily find out that here reactants and products all are present in the same phase all are gases so from this mixture of the reaction we can't separate whether it is carbon monoxide or nitrous oxide you can't find out so these type of reactions are called homogeneous catalysis take another example hydrolysis of a sugar that is C12H22O11 with water, which is also present in liquid state in presence of acid, aqua acid. All are present in the liquid state, so you can't separate them. It forms the corresponding glucose and fructose. So in this case also, all are present in aqueous solutions, so you can't separate them. here this is in aqua solution liquid this also present in liquid so it is comes under homogeneous catalysts and uh, the simple example for this homogeneous catalyst you can shown in this picture here the succinic acid when treated with the hydrogen peroxide with cobalt solution it forms the corresponding carbon dioxide and water but throughout the reaction mixture it gives only homogeneous mixture 
here our reaction is succinic acid salts of succinic acid that is C4H4O4 twice plus hydrogen peroxide in presence of cobalt salt that is which has act as a catalyst it forms the carbon dioxide as a gas and water as a liquid in this throughout the reaction the reaction mixture all are present as a homogeneous mixture in this case here this is the H2O2 and we are adding the succinic acid to this mixture of solution now we are adding the cobalt salt which is act as a catalyst here it is a cobalt salt and by adding these two the total reaction mixture becomes black and by spontaneous reaction with each other it becomes a dark green finally it forms the carbon dioxide as a bubbles into the air so throughout this reaction reaction mixture is present in the same color that means you can't distinguish whether it is a succinic salt or hydrogen peroxide or cobalt salt we can see this picture once again here presently it is a homogeneous mixture and which is present in the h2o2 and by adding the succinic salt also it is same homogeneous mixture after that we are adding the cobalt salt so after adding this cobalt salt which is present in the pink color it becomes a again homogeneous mixture now after reaction with each other they becomes a dark reaction mixture dark black after some time it becomes a dark green by the end of the reaction it evolves the carbon dioxide as a gas remains same homogeneous mixture will remain in the glass so in this case throughout the reaction mixture we are getting only homogeneous reaction mixture so it is comes under homogeneous catalysts and another example for the homogeneous catalyst is formation of a sulfur trioxide by oxidation of sulfur dioxide here sulfur dioxide which is present as a gas and oxygen which is also present as a gas now these two forms the two moles of the sulfur trioxide but the catalyst this is nitrous oxide which is also a gas is a homogeneous catalysis in this case all are present as a gases reactants and catalyst so it is also comes under homogeneous catalysis now we have to know about the mechanism of the homogeneous catalysis mechanism in the sense what is the role of the catalyst in the reaction while the reaction is going on which type of conversions has been happened by the catalysis in the mechanism take a simple example here previous example formation of a sulfur trioxide from the sulfur dioxide and reacted with the oxygen this is our overall reaction in presence of nitrous oxide in this case first this nitrous oxide is reacted with the oxygen it forms the nitrous dioxide and this nitrogen dioxide again reacted with the sulfur dioxide and it forms the sulfur trioxide and the nitrous oxide remains as it is so according to definition of the catalyst this catalyst should not change any chemical formula that means this n remains as it is after formation of the products now the mechanism of the homogeneous catalyst here is explained by the formation of intermediate here intermediate is nitrogen dioxide so by formation of the intermediate complexes with the reactants here oxygen so according to this theory catalyst can combines with reactants and it forms intermediate compound these intermediate compounds may be unstable or stable and again these two are decomposes by reacting with the other reactants it forms the final products so according to this the catalyst which is present in the reaction may forms the intermediate complexes with the reactants their catalyst may form intermediate with the reactants these reactants being stable or unstable the intermediates are stable or unstable this intermediate decomposes are reacted with again another reactants and it forms the products 
this intermediate has changed by reacting with another reactants or it can arrange into the compounds by changing its configuration sometimes in terms of enzymes it forms the products finally so in this case the catalyst may forms the intermediate complexes with the reactants and which is arranges to final products we have seen this example here clearly these all are present as a gases including catalyst NO it forms an intermediate that is NO2 and again this NO2 is remains as it is at the end of the reaction by forming the products